Hey guys, if you've been following the hot fishing trends over the last several months, you know about the Ned Rig. It's a really cool bait, it works really well, it's a downsized presentation, but you don't just have to simply go and look all over the place to find a Ned Rig lure, the soft plastic, especially the one that's manufactured by Z-Man. Here's a quick, easy way to make one using a floating worm. Hey guys, you've probably already heard about the Ned Rig if you have YouTube and you're watching the videos or you're reading online articles or even watching a lot of TV shows. It's a really cool downsized lure presentation that uses a jig head and a Z-Man soft plastic. It's elastic. It's really cool stuff. It's really super strong, super stretchy, and it's buoyant and it floats. This stuff's really cool. But really, it's not a new concept. For years, I've taken Cinco's. I've cut them in half. I've used smaller size Cinco's, especially when I'm fishing like, you know, rivers for smallmouth and down south spot bass, all that type of stuff, right? But it's a really basic concept. But keep in mind, if you just take a standard soft plastic, you cut it in half, it's not going to perform the way that, say, the, the quote-unquote Ned Rig is going to perform because it's not going to typically float. Here's another option for you. Just go out and get yourself some jig heads, right? And what I have here is just some basic tournament series Bass Pro Shops floating worm. Pick these up for like three bucks and some change at Bass Pro. Uh, they're just standard, straight, soft plastic worms. You know, these are cool, but they float. So really all you need to do is take one, uh, depending on, you know, what your, you know, how big you want to have it, you can simply cut it in half or find a good spot on there. Uh, simply cut it. All right. Then you can, you can put it straight through standard or you can go ahead and put it in uh, and make it weedless. So just, I'm just going to do here really basic. But the whole concept here is that this, because it is a floating plastic that's actually going to sink slower and when it lands it's going to land with the tail pointed straight up. Now you don't want to have it too short because then if it's too short and just a little bit behind the hook itself uh, you're not going to get a lot of action out of the thing like here. You know? So this actually works really well. So again all I've done is taken floating worms and cut them to size. I mean, you can also, you know, use the other side here if you want a skinnier profile. But really, there's your Ned Rig. You don't have to search around as much for your Z-Man plastics. Again, that stuff's really cool. That stuff's super durable. It's got a really good action to it. It's buoyant so it floats. But this is just another option if you happen to have any floating worms around. And a lot of times people don't even use floating worms as much as they used to. I love having them. So if you go out and shop in your local tackle shop, it's a good chance you probably won't even find floating worms at all. But if you do, you might even have some sitting around your house. Take them, cut them in half, put them on a jig head, toss them out, and work them. Again, they're going to work like a small bait fish working on the bottom or a crayfish uh, you know, or a worm itself, but it's going to give you a vertical presentation when it's in the water column, you know. But it's really a cool concept, and you're also downsizing. So if you're looking to try something new, you're interested in trying a Ned Rig, you may not be able to find the actual soft plastic design for it, or if you just want to kind of experiment on your own, grab some of your, your floating soft plastic worm, uh, cut them a little bit and tinker around with them, put them on jig head, and see how you can, uh, you know, work them and see what kind of, you know, response you're going to get from the fish with them. Thanks for watching fishyacker.com. As always, please subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and we'll catch you on the water. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.